Seeking balance sometimes can be pretty challenging and finding the right time to tap into our power to find the courage to keep on moving forward versus surrendering and giving up hope can be challenging. The concept of yin and yang in traditional Chinese philosophy dates back before BCE. It introduces the idea that all things exist as inseparable and contradictory opposites that attract and complement each other. In today's video, we'll have a look at this principle. We will journal a little bit and reflect on some questions about the yin and yang energies. And we will also learn some Qigong exercises to tap into our warrior spirit. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi, it's Monica, your intuitive trauma transformation coach, who helps you face and successfully navigate through the storms of life, guiding you through a most powerful self-healing process and teaching you all the mindfulness tools you need to embark on your journey to your core self and create the life you've always envisioned. Yin is the feminine energy. It's passive, warm, nurturing, and soft. It's the collector energy. Yang is the masculine energy. It's active, cold, dynamic, and rigid. It's the hunter energy. These two forces exist with, within all of us. And the balance of both is necessary for us to navigate and grow throughout the course of our lives. Without yin energy, we may show up to the world with a hard exterior and an overabundance of masculine energy, causing us to overdo and overproduce. Without yang energy, passivity has the potential to take over, resulting in less inspired action and allowing life to just happen to us instead of asserting ourselves and co-creating with the world around us. Finding this balance of strength and softness when it comes to navigating the ups and downs of the human experience requires practice to align body, mind and soul with what we need in each and every moment. Both yin and yang energy play a vital role in helping us move through life with inner wisdom and peace, helping us to tap into our unshakable warrior spirit. It's absolutely normal that most of us tend to embody one more than the other. Some of us are overproductive, rarely making time for rest and meet the world in more of a rigid way, embodying more masculine energy. Some of us may seek rest too often, postpone important chores and don't keep up healthy boundaries, embodying more feminine energy. But we all strive to live life in flow, being adaptable when necessary, but also firm to protect ourselves from being taken advantage of. When it comes to finding balance, it's important to become aware of which of the energies we tend to approach life and challenges with 
and how that benefits or doesn't serve us at all. Some situations require a bit of resistance, action and yang energy, while others are better served with a little bit of softness and learning to let go. Navigating when to push and when to release is an important part of embodying a centered spirit. There is a time to cultivate strength and there is a time to lean into softness. When these two elements are in balance, we are able to uphold our center and navigate difficult times with a bit more ease. It's important to use our own judgment and check in with ourselves on how it may be most beneficial to show up to different circumstances in our life. So we can truly practice embodying balance. For example, if you tend to meet life with softness and surrender, try asking yourself, where would more discipline, consistency, and masculine energy benefit you and write it down in your journal. What areas of your life feel unorganized and where could you benefit from a bit more movement and forward motion and write it down in your journal. Reflect on these ideals in your journal and put them into action to practice embodying more yang energy and approach your life with more balance. On the other hand, it's important to know that softness is also a strength and that abiding in a more yin or feminine energy is not indicative of weakness. If you tend to approach situations in an active and rigid way, ask yourself, where could you benefit from loosening your grip and having more of a Go with the flow attitude. Where could you cultivate forgiveness and find more rest in your life so you could show up as your best self? Well, take inventory of where you can implement more balance in your life to cultivate a more centered state. Before I introduce to you a daily practice for finding balance and tapping into your warrior with Qigong, please quickly, quickly click on subscribe, give me a thumbs up and also hit the bell. If you can find somewhere outside where you can really root your feet firmly on the earth. Stand with your feet separated about hip width apart and your left palm is facing up and your right palm is facing down. Start breathing in the energy of the heavens into your left hand 
and breathe out the energies of the earth through your right hand. Breathe in the energies of the earth through your right hand and breathe out the energies of the heavens through your left hand. Do this for about three minutes just to root yourself and balance the forces, the yin and the yang. You can close your eyes during this breathing exercise, but stand tall and centered. Notice what the air feels like entering through your nostrils and what it feels like as it leaves through your mouth. Become aware of the balance of strength and softness, the effort of drawing in breath and the surrender of letting it out. Feel both of your feet firmly planted on the ground with equal weight on both feet. Try to distribute the weight evenly so both of your feet are supporting your body the same. Keep a strong core and steady center as you embody both strength and softness. Riding the wave of inhaling and exhaling, lower your arms to the sides while raising your arms with palms facing down. Inhale once and while turning your palms up, inhale twice and bring both energies into your being with a long exhale. Do this for about two to three minutes. And lastly, lift your arms with palms facing up toward your heart area while inhaling, letting in love and friendship, and then pushing out as if you said stop or this far, but no further while breathing out, drawing your boundaries around you, breathing in and lowering your arms, breathing out. Do this exercise for two to three minutes. Well done. This was about nine, ten minutes of a nice workout. How do you feel? Please let me know in the comments box below and also spread the word about my self-help videos and share them by email or social media. Like always, peace begins with me. Namaste. Namaste. And remember, you deserve to break free and live your magic.